So the 4.2 set, you want to solve for the indicated variable. Remember you solve these like regular equations. You take opposites across the equal sign. And then isolate the variable you want. So we'll do one with a fraction. Let's do number 9. I want to solve for C. So I want to get C by itself. So first thing, I'm going to go far away from C and get rid of this 32. Right now it's a positive 32, so the opposite would be to minus 32. So I have F minus 32. I can't combine those. Equals 9 over 5C. So that's 9 fifths times C. The opposite of times is divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 9 over 5. And now I have C by itself, but you can't have a fraction and a fraction. So remember when you have fractions that are dividing, copy, dot, flip. So the top is the part you copy, F minus 32, dot, and then flip the bottom. Right now it's 9 over 5. I'm going to write it as 5 over 9. So I have 5 times f minus 32 all over 9 because we multiply straight across. So when I rewrite that, I'm going to put the 5 first, f minus 32 all over 9. And that's as simplified as we can go. If you want to distribute the 5, you can. But that's as simplified as it gets. So, let's see. I'll do 14 because it has a square in it. So the equation of the circle for the area of a circle A based on diameter D is A equals... Pi, I'm going to rewrite this with a multiply right there because they're next to each other. D squared over 4. Solve the equation to isolate the diameter D. So I rewrote it with the times because it's easier for me to see what the opposite is. If I need to get rid of pi, the opposite of times is divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi. And now I have a divided by pi equals d squared over 4. And I'm going to go back. Oh, I don't have it on this side. But when you have a fraction, multiply by the denominator. That's how you get rid of the fraction. So if I multiply over here by 4 over 1, those 4's cross cancel. I'm going to write my answer over here. And I'm just left with d squared because I have 1's everywhere else. But what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So I also need to multiply 4 over 1 here. And then you multiply straight across. So you're left with 4 times a divided by 1 times pi, which is just pi. So last step to get d by itself. Right now it's d squared. We just want our answer to be d equals. So the opposite of a square is a square root. Those are canceling. And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So this is our answer. d is the square root of 4a divided by pi.